For measuring uh, velocity, and specifically for doing a velocity traverse, the Risk Reporter offers uh, a great uh, environment. Uh, from this link status window, we have our uh, pressure module, which is attached in the other room to a pitot tube. I press uh, S for setup, and I have an option here for pressure modules between differential pressure, pitot tube, uh, foil type of velocity probes, uh, velocity grid, and hood. Uh, so those are the different uh, ways in which a pressure module uh, can be used. So we're going to, uh, I'm using a pitot tube right now for a velocity tra uh, traverse. So I'll press S to select that option. In terms of measurement setup, I can uh, either view the readings uh, as we're going to do uh, uh, right now or I'll come back a little bit later to exhibit a uh, running average uh, capability. So I'll press uh, S to select that. I can also set the amount of time that the pressure module is going to spend looking at the signal. For very fast readings, uh, we can uh, read a velocity or a pressure or a flow in only one second. Uh, I'm going to select uh, two seconds, which is just a convenient for a demonstration mode. Or there's a pressure dependent in which the pressure module will spend more time uh, reading the signal if it's uh, near uh, zero, either for flow or pressure or velocity. Uh, two seconds is very convenient. I'll select that. Now, parameter setup. Uh, so far, we've uh, talked about, in terms of air density, uh, a temperature of a standard of 70. I can uh, change that if I wish. Using uh, this uh, arrow key, I'll, I'll move the cursor to temperature, and I'll press S to, to change that. If I know, for instance, uh, that the uh, temperature in the duct is uh, 53 degrees, I can uh, use the uh, arrow key uh, to change this to 53. And I'll press S to, to select that. Alternatively, uh, one of the wireless uh, temperature modules can be used. It goes through a 3 inch hole in the duct. And uh, therefore, while the traverse is occurring, the actual temperature of the air can be used to adjust uh, the air uh, density. Now the duct. Right now uh, this is uh, set up for a uh, rectangular duct. If I press uh, S here, I can change that to a round duct and I'll select that. And then uh, if the diameter is not uh, 12 inches, let's say the diameter is 16 inches, I will adjust that to 16 inches. Press select. And now I know that the area of the duct is 1.4. And as we will see in a minute, as I do my traverse, I will also be uh, displayed the uh, CFM uh, in the duct. So I'll press View to go on uh, to the next uh, view of the information. So with this view of the data, which is one of the views available, at the upper left is the current reading in feet per minute. Every time uh, the star shows, that's a new reading uh, coming in. And uh, so far, uh, I have not uh, uh, stored any readings, so I have average, max, and min here, which are empty. And I'm in memory group AB, and I haven't stored anything yet. At the upper right, I'm showing the 53 degrees. I'm showing the automatically measured barometric pressure, 28.77, giving 0.074 pounds per cubic foot, and an approximate elevation of 1,158 uh, feet. As mentioned before, cross-sectional area, 1.4 square feet. So now if I uh, press S uh, to store uh, a particular point of my uh, traverse, and uh, so I've stored 1399. If I store again, and if I store again, so I've stored three readings. Uh, I have average, max, and min. The average 1396 feet per minute uh, times the 1.4 cross-sectional area uh, gives me uh, a, a CFM of uh, 1949. So if we had finished a 16-point traverse, uh, as we climb down off the ladder, uh, we would have the, the, uh, the known uh, CFM using this uh, capability uh, of the risk reporter. I'll press uh, V to go to another view of the data. This is similar. Uh, but just offers uh, larger numbers, easier to see, uh, depending on uh, what the environment is like. 
I should mention that when storing data, uh, that the user can use uh, not only uh, the S button, but can use uh, the thumb switch as well. Uh, press of the, uh, of the thumb against the button will cause uh, the data to be, uh, to be stored. I'll press V to go on to uh, another view of the data. Uh, in this case, uh, we have the record number here, the time, the date. There's a column for feet per minute, and there's a column for uh, inches of water column. And I'll explain that uh, in a minute. I'm going to pause now, uh, and I'm going to go to a different uh, setup, and I'll be back in a moment to explain some of the other features involved uh, when, uh, when doing a velocity traverse.